And I'll give the floor to Mr. Nasser Kamel, Secretary General of the Union for the Mediterranean. Thank you, Madam President. I wish to thank you and thank Malta for the opportunity afforded to the Union for the Mediterranean to address the UN Security Council on this very important matter. As you know, the Union for the Mediterranean came as a revival of the Barcelona process, a process that was launched 30 years ago on the hope brought about by the Oslo Accords with the promise of shared peace, stability, and prosperity in the Euro-Mediterranean region. A promise that could only be attained through a well-rooted peace built only and exclusively on the two-state solution. Unfortunately, that is also the same promise that we collectively failed to achieve. Referring to what the Secretary General of the United Nations said this morning on the scale of the catastrophic situation in Gaza, he mentioned that civilians in Gaza are suffering widespread starvation. He stressed the need for a quantum leap in humanitarian aid in Gaza. And also, he recalled Security Council Resolution 2728 demanding immediate ceasefire during Ramadan, leading to a lasting ceasefire and also the release of all hostages. Madam President, on the 27th of November 2023, the Union for the Mediterranean Foreign Ministers met in Barcelona to discuss the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The co-chair of the UFM issued a joint communique and identifying points of convergence during that meeting, which are UFM member states express grave concern over the humanitarian situation in Gaza. They stress the need and obligation to protect civilians and to respect international humanitarian law by all and at all times and condemn indiscriminate killing and targeting of civilians. They also stress their rejection of any displacement of Palestinians from Gaza or the West Bank as well as the internal displacement of Palestinians inside Gaza. They reaffirm the collective responsibility to achieve a just, lasting, and comprehensive solution to the Palestinian issue on the basis of the two-state solution and emphasize commitment to working together to realize the two-state solution to ensure freedom and dignity for Palestinians, sustainable security for Israelis, and lasting peace and stability for the entire region. They also called for, the implement, for implementing the two-state solution with clear timelines and agreed implementation mechanism with two sovereign and secure states, Palestine and Israel, living side by side in peace and mutual recognition on the basis of the 4th of June 1967 lines. Madam President, more than 30 years ago, we made a promise to our citizens, it is time to deliver on it. Israel and Palestine are founding members of the Union for the Mediterranean. And we at the Union for the Mediterranean, we believe we can be a keystone in shaping a new vision for the future of the region. War and vengeance can only lead to more brutality. The only way to ensure security for both Israelis and Palestinians is to collectively exert the necessary pressure to stop this conflagration and stop it now. Thank you, Madam President. I thank Mr. Kamal for his brief, for his statement.